Get up. Get on up. Get on up. Get on the Get on up. I like a sex machine. Get on up. Get up. Get on up. I get up. Get on up. Get on the scene. Get on up. Like a sex machine. Get on up. I get up. Hey, Mario. Yeah. I didn't want to do my thing. Okay. Hey, Gavin. Yeah. Can I do my thing? Go ahead. Do your thing. I get up. Get on up. I get up. Get on up. I get on the scene. Get on up. I like a sex machine. Get on up. <laughs> the way I like it is the way it is. Don't worry about mine. What up, y'all? <laughs> Put a little James Brown in it. Yo, this is Big Gene. Y'all know how I do it. I want to take some people back sometimes when I'm in a certain mood and stuff like that. I got up early, fry some cabbage, gonna make some crab cakes later. Might throw a little stuffed mushrooms and some corn on the cob. That's what I was thinking about. But I thought I'd come to y'all with this show. I got to cut off my phone because every time, every time I start a show, somebody want to call me. Can I call you back? Oh, my God. Bye. Yeah, all right. Later. Ken Jackson, we got a new member early in the show. Y'all know what that mean. A Ken Jackson, a Ken Jackson, a Ken Jackson is a member, y'all. Oh, Ken Jackson, a Ken Jackson, a Ken Jackson is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership, Mr. Ken Jackson. Re -re -re Rewind! A Ken Jackson, a Ken Jackson, a Ken Jackson is a member, y'all. Oh, a Ken Jackson, a Ken Jackson, a Ken Jackson is a member, y'all. <laughs> Lulu B, what's up with you out there? Check this shit out, man. I'm about to drop some jewels on y'all. Because I just want y'all to know. And some of y'all don't believe fat meets greasy. You understand? They don't understand when somebody has been anointed to do some certain things that is just like bullshit. They want to put it on hate. They want to put it on jealousy. They want to put it on being broke. They want to put it on everything but the truth. They want y'all to continuously, continuously believe that a man that go to work every day maybe one, two jobs and have side hustles is broke. Let them say what they want to say. But we all know grown men don't live with grown men. And a real man never invites a man to his private. That's some half a homo bitch ass nigga that will cause a real man to go to jail for the rest of their life. And anybody that calls Stevie J they uncle, they daddy should be embarrassed for them. They daddy should be embarrassed for them. I knew your daddy, boy. I ate at the same table with your daddy sometimes. I've been to your daddy's studio that was above black hands. I was right there when your daddy say, yo, I get this money because I had these girls write these letters to the guys in prison and send them uh, lewd photos of themselves and they pay me for that. Your daddy was a real, well-respected man and lived that real That's life. That's what I found. And lived that real life. 
and he would be embarrassed. You calling a nigga like Stevie J your uncle. I'm just saying to do what you got to do. I'm just letting you know. I know a whole lot more than you think I know. Because I've had conversations with your daddy before. Now, let me just tell y'all something before I get into this story. If you don't know that Puffy is on the way down, I'm going to give you a prime example. Shout out to AM. Been my heart, been my soul, been my inspiration and my closest dear friend for years. You understand? You hear me? One of the smartest women I know, next to Doc, next to Keisha, next to, it was this young lady that I used to date. Oh, what's her name? God. She did real estate at first. Then she went to guy called Sharon. Four of the smartest women that a man wish they had. Uh, I don't have no association with Sharon no more, but like just just the mind and the way they think was, you know, just just beautiful. You are glad and lucky to get women in your life, not only being educated, just smart about life. And I'm just doing a shout out to them right there. Uh, but anyway, you got to know when a man is going down. Lucky Lefty, what up? Left, 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 left you ain't work, man. Don't be hiding getting on this shit, left. You at work unless you at lunch right now. Tracy, we you know, listen to me, man. Tracy, I don't, I don't know. Stevie for doing that and I don't know Diddy from doing that. If somebody they got tapes and they got shit like that, then that's that's what it is. It is what it is. I don't know. I never said that. But anyway, I'm going to say this. You know when a nigga ship is about to sink. When he comes forward and he gets on Instagram and he begs, if you with me, let, let it know that you with me. You got to know that his ship is sinking when Stevie J is the old, when Stevie J is the only brother that come forward and say, I'm his ride or die. When Stevie J Stevie is the only one that come forward out of all the dudes that he been around, all the entertainers who been there because they publicist is in their ear. My man, don't get involved in this. Don't say nothing because I heard I know, don't mess up your brand. He begging for help. And the only one to come forward is DBJ. Because I know one person, they didn't come forward. They came forward as a new member. The Sider Rider. The Sider Rider. The Sider Rider is a member, y'all. Oh, the Sider Rider. The Sider Rider. The Sider Rider is a member, y'all. Go. The Sider Rider. The Sider Rider. The Sider Rider is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership. 
when he's the only one that come forward and say, that my ride or die over there. So now, let's get down to business. No, thank you for your membership. I appreciate that. I don't know if I said your name right, but uh, <laughs> sometimes it's very difficult. Now, let's check this out. Let's let's go through this, man. There was a young lady. Uh, and we're going to call she her name was Neveza. Uh, uh, Nive, 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 Nive. Oh, my God. I always mess up her name, know her well, know her good. And I don't know why I can't say Navia, 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 Nazavia, Nazavia, Navia. She was called the International Madam. Somebody said DJ Kelly ain't saying nothing. Bet not. They was calling her the International Madam. She had a book out called The International Madam. Now, if you know what I used to say, what I said a couple of weeks ago about how Puff used to give the parties and you see all the fine girls in there because they have people called promoters. And the promoters used to put these girls on the guest list and they used to give the girls any the promoters anywhere from five to fifteen dollars when the girls used to show up to the party and get scratched out because they might say yo i need 100 girls at the party i need 50 girls at the party i need 25 girls in the party. and so when those girls come on those lists they get scratched out and they cut the promoters a check it's all taken out on certain budgets or whatever which the girls think they go into a party but they actually been pimped out by the promoter because they're not getting a dime because they don't know that the promoters are getting paid for them to be at the party. Or some of them might have just flat rates. You understand? I'm going to give you $500, man. I need 100 girls there. You understand? But you know the girls is going to come anyway. It's a ditty party. That's why a lot of these cats ain't saying jack because they waiting for to get in a Diddy party. Okay? They waiting to get into a Diddy party. Hold on, my poor ass got my cleaning lady coming through here. Debbie! I'm, I'm doing a show right now, but um, I know you did the cabinets. Just give me, Just give me a few minutes, all right? All right. All right. Thank you. My poor ass. <laughs> so anyway, I told y'all that story last week and it's, it's kind of funny. Nieves, that's her name. Nieves. So check this out. Um, she was one of the ladies. She was one of the ladies that had what you call um an escort service. She had an escort service. And what she used to do when people in the industry needed men to be entertained by women she would provide those escorts for her for them now i used to work for a harlem madam and what i used to do was i used to take girls for her to places one time mike tyson was one of her clients I took two girls down there, right? I took two girls down there on 57th Street. I'm downstairs. I told this story in my book that 
Mike Tyson, you know, had two girls came up there. So then I want to see Mike. Yo, I've seen Mike a couple of times. You understand? But I had these, uh, uh, um, I don't know, these shirts. I had a shirt with his face on it. And I wanted to tell the girl, yo, get Mike Tyson to sign this. Because I knew this shit would be, you know, worth crazy money later. But I didn't do that. You understand? Because that was business. I had the shirt because we used to be around Zip sometimes. And I figured that if I'm around Zip with him sometime, that Mike will sign it for me. Or I asked Zip to tell Mike to sign it for me. But it didn't happen. So now, the girls go upstairs. One girl come back downstairs, and I said, uh, what's wrong? What happened? He just wanted one of y'all, right? He couldn't handle it to her. She said, no, nah, Gene. She said, that nigga's a beast. She said, I wasn't going to let him do my pussy like. <clears throat> I wasn't going to let him do my, my nana, my vagina like he was doing her. I said, Mike, I don't feel good. Here go your $1,500 back. And then he he said, that's all right. Just take a thousand and gave her a thousand. And she came back downstairs. She got a thousand dollars just for showing up and didn't have to do nothing. She said, Mike was an animal. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so Nieves used to do the same thing, you understand, but on a different level. You know what I'm saying? Her girls were exotic. Not saying black women ain't exotic or nothing like that. I, I wouldn't say that at all, because I love my black women. You understand? But she used to deal with those exotic type of women. She was from Switzerland. And before I go on, I just want to say Anthony Lou, Anthony Lou, Anthony Lou is a member, y'all. Anthony Lou. Anthony Lou. Anthony Lou is a member, y'all. Go, Anthony Lou. Anthony Luke, Anthony Luke is a member, y'all. They call him Tone Lo, Tone Lo. Hey, Tone Lo, Tone Lo. Hey, Tone Luke, Tone Luke. Oh, Tone Luke is a member, y'all. Yeah, Anthony Luke, Anthony Luke, Anthony Luke is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership. Hey, what's up, Christino? What up with you? It's one of my mods. What up with you? See you in here. I see you in here today, mama. I see you. All right. Thank you, Tamika Jamison, for that super sticker. So now, she was the same type. And then she was mostly dealing with one guy that Big caught out on his phone that let him down. And that was Uncle Pauly. She was dealing with Uncle Pauly. Like on the Yo, when old boy tell Uncle Pauly that he need these girls to be service to these people right there, Uncle Pauly would get in touch with her and she would make sure that he had the girls. So now, she was also doing something else and that was dealing cocaine. Dealing cocaine. Oh, Uncle Gene is snitching again. Uncle Gene is ratting again. He can't stop. Man. Because you young, dumb, full of cum, young, stupid ass kids don't know what snitching is. That's if I'm telling on somebody to law enforcement to get my own self out of trouble. Ratting is when I ate at a plate with somebody. I ate in the same plate as a nigga and I'm telling something to keep myself out of jail. And so... I don't have to be charged. I'm telling something to, they will go to jail from what I'm telling to keep myself out of jail. And those are people I ate on the same plate with. Now I ain't seen nobody yet in the four years I've been on this internet. Four years, no, 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 it's more than four years. Oh, it's, damn, time is flying. Five and a half, it's about five years that I've been on this internet. I ain't seen not one person went to jail 
on what I see. But the international madam went to jail because your Uncle Paulie, when Big said, Uncle Paulie, you get shot at, he ran down the other street with my gun. Don't believe what you hear other people say. You understand? Don't believe what you hear other people say. You understand? Ran down the street with my gun. D Rock, him, C's, C's wasn't hiding in the back of no truck. They ran down the street because when we got to the truck, we see them niggas coming running back. Anyway. Instead of drinking the sweet lemonade, my brother said, what was you drinking? This is cranberry water with pineapple and mint leaves uh, blended up. And I drink this. Hey, Tracy Wolford. Brownstone. So now, Danny D, Dan, Danny always, Danny, ain't nothing but love out there. I got nothing but love for you, honey. <laughs> that heavy D shit. Heavy D, Danny D, heavy D, Danny D, heavy D, a Danny D, a heavy D, Danny D, heavy D. I got nothing but love for you, honey. I got <laughs> Danny, Danny, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I ain't mean to put you on blast like that, Danny. I ain't mean to put you on blast like that, my mom. <laughs> I'm so shy, Gene. Uh, no, 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 Gene. Gene, don't do that. I'm so, you know I'm shy, Gene. <laughs> Go to state. What up with you? 415. Like, so now, the international madam was setting the parties out. The private parties and the parties in. And then she was also selling her, selling her cocaine that she was getting from the head of bad boy security. Now, I'm telling y'all this because it's already documented and she did eight years in the federal penitentiary for it. She did eight years in the federal penitentiary and was deported. So now, so now, some of y'all can think about, some of y'all can think, and I don't have to always, uh, et cetera, right, I thank you for that gift to the Gene Deal Show. Ken, thanks for that super chat. Not a super chat, cash out. Appreciate you. I haven't put that stuff up like that. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. The new book has not been approved yet. But for y'all people that just do Kindle, it's, it's approved for Kindle. We waiting on the paperback version. For you people who read the Kindle, it's, 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 out, it's on Amazon for Kindle, the new book. I got to change this. I'm going to change this. The new book is out and it's on Amazon Kindle version. So um, the we waiting for the approval right now. I don't know what's taking them so long. Guess somebody hit the plug. <laughs> Don't hide the plug. <laughs> no, bro. That's that's a that's a clothing line. www don't hide the plug unless you're around Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. Let me stop, man. <laughs> Yo, I be seeing commercials on this cat. He's becoming the laughing stock of hip hop. All the great shit he did, he didn't have to go out the way he going out. 
but I know y'all blame it on Gene. Blame it on some of that shit on Gene. Uh, so now, again, let's see what that is. That's Inaya Bones. Hey, Inaya Bones. Ezekiel Waters said, I'm going to send my money for my book already, even though he ain't got it yet. Wait till I get the damn book. <laughs> Drain Master in the house. Hector Martinez. Yeah. Hector Martinez, Gene, you an informer. Yeah, I inform your mama all the time how that pussy stink. Now, how about that? Play with that one. Hector Martinez. That's why I inform. Sorry, ladies. Sometimes I want to crack on these cats. Yeah, I, I'm an informant. I tell her, mm, it don't take like chicken. It smell like fish. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Sorry. Sometimes I can be very petty. Yes, I'm doing a show right now, young lady. My show. Okay, I call you back. Um, probably next show. Okay. Well. Wow. Right. Danny, you ain't have to do that, Mama. Thank you for the super sticker, though. Appreciate you. All right. Yo, I got a lot of uh, these clowns in here. Security, yo, hey, Crow, let me just tell you something, bro. You don't need security money when you did this in your life, you dumbass. Retired. Stupid. <laughs> but you won't stop this show. All you know that you got to go. Let's uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ban you. <laughs> Yo, any of my moderators out there, when somebody come on there and they say some dumb shit, ban them. Don't need them. Don't need them. That's how much I need you. I could keep you on here and let the money keep rolling on from you, but we gonna ban your ass. That's probably about that dude, Derek. Derek Parker. So now, the international madam, um, she goes to jail and do eight years in federal penitentiary for distribution of co cocaine in the whole nine yards. And you gotta realize when you, when you do take a plea and you go through that and you say that, you got to tell them everything. You got to tell them everything. Troy, I'm doing the show. I should have this phone off, but I'm doing the show right now, okay? All right. All right, Mama, later. She said she wants to call for the thrill of it. Mm. The thrill is gone. <laughs> the thrill is gone away. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Joy. Go ahead. Mr. Willow, what's going on? I ain't seen your name in a long time. Mr. Willard got something to say all the way from West Virginia. Take that, take that, take that. <laughs> so now, when you do a plea deal, if you don't tell them everything and they go back and they find out shit or some shit pop up in somebody else's case and they say this and they say that, the time that you got that you were supposed to get, they were trying to get 20 to life, 15 to life, they could bring you back up on charges and lock your ass back up. So she tells them everything. She talks about the wild parties. She tells them about the prostitution. 
She tells them about the call girl. She tells them about selling the drugs, everything. So when you say that there wasn't sex workers, you didn't you when you say they don't they don't hire prostitutes and all that in the party, where you think the federal government get their information from? Crimes and people taking a plea. So now when they take that information, they put that in their files. They know Nieves, the international madam, used to supply prostitutes for black boy clients. The international madam used to supply drugs for bad boy clients because a motherfucker from bad boy set her up because he didn't want to go to jail and do the time, set her and her boyfriend up. One to go back to the DR and the other one to go to back to Switzerland. Marshmallow. Motherfuckers is mad. Because I come on here and tell the shit that I know. It's documented and you can get it if you know how. Like when I came on and I told the story about how Jimmy Hinchman had nine sections with the lawyers in the proffer agreement. And then people ran back trying to tell other people platforms that they did it. Or they they gave them, they found the information when they listened to me. I told you people listen to me so they could go and get their money. I don't have a problem with that. Taslim, Marion, out there in Holland, Europe, give me one of support. Salute. Support back to you. <laughs> SUNY Ray didn't pay. SUNY Ray didn't pay, but she a member. A SUNY Ray a didn't pay. SUNY Ray didn't pay, but she's a member. SUNY Ray ain't no member, y'all. He ain't no member yet. <laughs> SUNY Ray, that was funny. SUNY Ray is a member, y'all. <laughs> Not <laughs> Hector. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So you can go on Amazon right now and get the Kindle version. I am currently waiting for the paperback to be approved. So if anybody knows somebody over at Amazon, tell them to hurry up. And don't hide the plug. Unless you know who's around. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Nobody, uh, I had a deal with Simon and Schuster, but uh, a young lady said that my, my book wasn't interesting enough. My life wasn't. I bet she's biting her nails now. <laughs> that bullshit. I ain't got I ain't gonna worry about that because I know one thing, Lisa Jenkins. Alisa Jenkins. Alisa Jenkins is a member, y'all. Alisa Jenkins. Alisa Jenkins. Alisa Jenkins is a member, y'all. Oh, go Lisa. Go Lisa. Lisa Jenkins is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership, Miss Jenkins. Fairy Jewel Love, thank you. I'm old now, I'm handsome. Stevie J said, I got bad knees and all that. 
swear kick is so far from his ass, he'd take shoe polish playing with that kid. Get out of here with that bullshit, man. You let Scrappy. Now, Scrappy ain't no Scrappy ain't no joke. You understand? But Scrappy whooped your ass. Jocelyn whooped your ass. And you gonna sit up here and talk shit. Yo, you know, yo, he proved my point. Yo, I'm not getting off this international madam shit because it's a big deal. But didn't Stevie J prove our point? He said that a promoter came to him and said he'll put up $35 million for him and 50 Cent to fight. Now, we all know that 3500 looked like $35 million to a crackhead, right? <laughs> we know 3500 look like 35 million to a crackhead, right? He said they offered me 35 million to promote a fight promoter. Woo! Cocaine. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Oh my God. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Leo, <laughs> DB. <laughs> Yo, this came out his own mouth, man. I'm not making this shit up. If Voodoo out there, Rick James, Chevron TV. This nigga said the plug. He said they offered them thirty five million in one fight. Him and 50 Cent. 50 was scared to take it. <laughs> that nigga 50 hit Stevie J one time. <laughs> that nigga wake up next week. I don't know what 10 gifts is, but thank you. I'm trying to get it up on the screen. Evil Amai, thank you for your membership. Yeah, thank you for your membership. Gifts. Yeah, man. Dan Leash, Denalia, hashtag D. Hey, Uncle Gene, I sent you five yesterday, but you ain't see. The icon. Oh, mom, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm sorry about that. Appreciate it. If I don't see it, don't blame it on the heart. Please. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he was. She said, you didn't know why Bentley, uh, Diddy was trying to stop that? Yeah, he was. And then trying to put it off on security. That's why I did it. That's why I said it. People so upset at me, mad at me, nigga. I ain't stole nothing. I ain't got sticky fingers. Never been a bodyguard, Onyx, but I ain't never been sticky fingers. Yeah, where we at? Well, in, all right, let's get back to this. So, the international model did her eight years. She came out and she did an incredible book called The International Model. They tried to stop it, tried to play it. It was on Amazon at one time. It's not on Amazon anymore. I don't know why. 
but this is how that industry does and dudes in that industry when they don't want to go to jail for what they did they put it off on lesser people and they go to jail and they sit back and weep the benefits you know oh i got something man i gotta share with y'all man and this 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 may not be for y'all but it's it, it, it was it was something great for me and i i you know i know people calling me for merchandise want me to do merchandise yo listen to me it's work for me to come here with y'all i'm i'm telling y'all man even though i enjoy it stuff like that but it's still work to me you know what i'm saying and um that merchandise thing and all that i don't, I don't know man i really don't know but this shit right here is mad important to me and i i truly dearly want to share this with y'all because this is what it's all about this is what to me this is what it's all about okay respect gene imagine having this man on your case growing up people don't understand money is nothing but a person like this man can share a lot more knowledge or set you in life to get the right can get the right way someone give this man his flowers now please that was somebody that was on my caseload and he was saying that i set him up in life to start doing the right thing and that's what's important so he could take care of his family for the rest of their life. That's what I that's what I got out of that. Maybe I'm wrong. But hold on, I gotta get this. Let me see some. Hello? Who this? Playboy, I'm doing a show right now though, bro. All right, I'll hit you right back when I finish. All right, peace. So now. <laughs> Brenda knew, Brenda heard, Brenda, you saw it too, right? Uncle Jim, you know Stevie was lying about the 35 million. It was 350, <laughs> no, it was 3,500. See, you're trying to be funny, Brenda. I ain't playing with you. You trying to be funny. She talking about it was 350. <laughs> Do $350 look like 35 million, Brenda? To a crackhead? I seen these kids when they was young and they wasn't doing that shit. They wasn't doing all those drugs and those pills. Yo, let me tell you black guys out there and you black folks out there, you black women out there, you black people out there, you can't be doing those pills that these kids been doing on the other side all they life. Y'all come out there doing those damn pills and shit like that, thinking this shit is, you can't be doing that shit. Drink you a little wine. Smoke you a little weed if that's true. All those pills and that cocaine and that and that dope. I'm not gonna stay long, y'all. Polo, what up with you? You had a question, Polo? All right. Nika, ain't people wild? Let them know, Nika. Hey, Nicole Harris. Got to give love to my people that's members. I 
I know no one should be doing kid pills. People don't know that we have a, a, even though we are all human, that certain races have a molecular structure that they cannot stand certain things. Like certain people can't be out in the sun. They are burn a certain way because they don't have the melatonin. Certain people can't drink all the time and drink certain things. Because they get wild, crazy, obnoxious and all this. Some people, you got Jamaican people that can smoke all the time. Certain Some Jamaican people can smoke and it doesn't bother them. Like it would bother some other people or some other race. I don't know. Suni Ray, it is what it is. But listen here, y'all. I'm good. Red Man, what up with you? That's why I like a woman that know what she's talking about. Libra Queen, what up, mama? Yes. Charlene Campbell. Listen, y'all. I got some running I got to do. I got to get people to do their work. Well, I make some runs. But anyway, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all today. I wanted y'all to know about the international ma madam. I wanted y'all to know that the FBI, the uh, different agencies, been collecting data for a long time. And because he was messing around with somebody that they didn't want to look bad with, you understand? How bad would he look and their company would have looked if uh, Danny Rose, thank you for that cash out. How bad would their company look if Mr. Sean Diddy Combs would have been found guilty of all this shit that we know of that had been going on. They company would have looked real bad. But now he bit the hand that fed him and they released all things from him. He was the reason of his own downfall. Okay. Until I see y'all again, uh, get up, get on up, get up, get on up, get on the scene, get on up, uh, like a second of a machine, get on up. <laughs> Later, y'all. Y'all be good and enjoy the day. <laughs>